in GeoGebra as the next part we are going to learn about slider. So, in order to open GeoGebra, application, education, then GeoGebra. In GeoGebra next we are going to learn about slider. Slider is a tool that helps us to control shapes. So, first we are going to create slider and by using the slider we can change the shape of a triangle to a square pentagon like that. So, first we have to create slider. So, 10th group tool slider then click here and mark a point. So, next we got a slider window here. So, in the number I am going to give a. Then here in the minimum value I am going to give 3 and in the maximum value I am going to give 7. Increment means how much value has to be added with the first value to get the second value. So, here I am giving 1 and click on OK button. So, next we have to draw the triangle. So, here we have to take the fifth group tool regular polygon then we have to plot a point here then we have to plot another point then we got a window here and here we have to give the value as a because we are going to control this polygon using the slider so we are giving the number of vertices as a a means the value of slider so click on the ok button and now we can see the value of slider is 3 so, we have a triangle shape. Next, we will right click on the slider and choose animation on. So, as the slider value moves, we can see the shape is changing. So, this slider is controlling this geometrical shape. So, now we will save it. So, file menu, save as giving the file name as GeoGebra 3. Click on the save button. So, next we will open up a new window. So, file, new window. So, next we will create a slider and we will control a circle using this slider. Tenth group tool, slider and plot a point. Then here I am giving A. Then minimum value I am giving 1. And maximum value I am giving 5 and increment I am giving 0.5. Then OK. So, next sixth group tool circle with center and radius. Click a point here. Then in the radius window, we have to give the value of slider A. Click on the OK button. Now we can see we got a circle. Now we have to find out the radius of the circle. So, second group tool point then click on the, the line of the circle and plot a point. So, we got the point B. Now, we will find out the length. Eighth group tool distance or length. Then click on the point A and click on the point B. So, the measurement of the line AB is 1 centimeter. So, now right click on the slider and choose animation on. So, we can see the movement of the circle. So, the radius of the circle is also increasing. Now, we will save this file menu. Then save as the file name as GeoGebra 4. And click on save button. We will create a slider and control the angles using the slider. Tenth group tool slider. Then plot a point here and here instead of number I am using angle and here we are not changing anything click on the ok button. So, next eighth group tool angle with given size plot a point here then plot another point here then here in this window we have to erase 45 degree and here you have to click on this point here choose the first one because the same symbol has been used for the slider. Then click on OK. Now we will join this points. So third group tool, segment, click on the point A and click on the point B. Then click on the point A hyphen 
and click on the point B. So now we got a angle of 45 degree. Or we will move this angle using the slider. So right click on the slider and choose animation on. Now we can see the angle is moving. So in order to stop this animation, again right click on the slider, click on this animation on. We will plot points as the angle moves. So here right click on this angle and choose the option trees on. Then again right click on the angle and choose object properties because I want to give some color here. So here in the color option I am choosing a red color. Then you can see here this point's color has been changed. So now we will right click on the slider choose the option animation on. So we can see as the angle moves or as the line moves, it is plotting a color. Then in order to stop this animation, right click on the slider and choose the option. Remove the tick mark from the option animation. We will save this file menu. Save as. I am giving the file name as GeoGebra 5. Then click on the save button.